Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon channel. This is our new perspective for the day. I hope you're ready to exercise your intuitive muscles today. Um, we are using the um, Sun and Moon uh, tarot deck, my little mini travel deck that I love and I take everywhere with me. It is my go-to. Um, especially since I could take it everywhere. But uh, we have today the King of Wands, the Princess of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. So Wands represents the fire elements, creativity, passion, creative force, co-creation, um, deep, deep passion, forward movement, right? And uh, swords represents air element, which is uh, logic. It's in the mind. It is um, uh, truthful, truthfulness, honesty, intellect, knowledge. Uh, but it can also mean, for instance, in this Seven of Swords, um, trickery, right? Lying, cheating, stealing, deception. Uh, mind manipulation, right, in a negative sense. Uh, but uh, let's start with the King of Wands. The King of Wands is, he's the ruler of his land, right? He is passionate and caring and um, filled with creative uh, passion, right? He is uh, very empathetic to the needs of his people, right? and the people he is in charge of caring for. And he does so with great, um, with great passion and strength and creativity. And he is jovial, right? He is always inspiring greatness in his people and within himself. He's very, very, very confident. Um, and then we have the uh, Princess of Wands, and the princess is the equivalent of the page. So pages are, you know, uh, referred to as the children of the court cards, the youthfulness, the um, see seekers of, they're the students, they're the seekers of knowledge, they're the seekers of inspiration and creativity. So the princess of wands is um, about exploration into you know, creativity and passion and is a very um, creative in a naive, um, in a naive way that is open to all of the knowledge that she can um, possibly manifest, right, and possibly encounter. She wants to learn a little bit about everything and is very, you know, very much into encompassing all of the things around her, right? So with these two uh, together, it's telling me intuitively that there, there's a, a deep passion for adventure and knowledge and being able to protect and um, uh, acknowledge and be grateful for what is within one's own realm, but wanting to um, understand everything that encompasses it and, and, and is surrounding it so that it can blend nicely and, and be able to coexist, right? Um, and then we get over to the Seven of Swords. Now, air and fire, we all know that when there's an air and fire, uh, combination, you know, what happens when you blow on a fire, it gets bigger, right? Uh, the, the wind will change the direction of that fire and that fire feeds off of that air, off of that intellect, off of that knowledge. And that is, that is what they're going for, right? But there, you see that both of these characters, their backs are turned to this seven of swords that um, um, they, 
that self-preservation instinct is is not there, but it should be there, right? They, they need to uh, be able to see what is behind them and see, acknowledge that and know that if they don't tend to their own fire, it could become out of control. It could deceive them. It could steal something from them, right? They need to, as much as they want to um, encompass the world around them and uh, coexist with others around them, they need to understand that they don't need, to, they, they need to be careful not to absorb so much that they lose themselves, right? What is it that, that it speaks to you intuitively in these cards? How are they connecting for you? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to see your perspective. And we have the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. Let's see what we got. Tattoo Fairy, number 50. Tattoo Fairy. Ooh. Let me see if, are you all in there? Sorry, these mini, oh, let me just go out a little. There we go. You're all in. Number 50. Let me go to the book. Number 50. A lot of cards in this Oracle deck. Okay. Number 50, Tattoo Fairy. Keyword is labeling. Interesting. This card speaks of allowing others and yourself free expression. One person's uh may be another person's ah. Be careful of laboring, labeling others or yourself. Too often we assume if a person does this or that, then they must be a certain way. We do not give them the benefit of the doubt or the chance to show who they really are. It is very unfair to place a label on someone just because they may have a tattoo or look different. Allow yourself to see beyond appearances to what truly is. When we label ourselves or others, we are limiting possibilities. We limit our ways of expressions by cramming ourselves into a mold. Be open to all that you are and can be. Allow others the same respect. Welcome the diversity of those around you. Creative expression is a very personal thing. Each being has his way of being. Beware of going along with the crowd or the latest fads. Find out who you really are and be that person. Who you are is good enough. This card also speaks of symbols. Look for symbols in your life and see how they manifest. What are they trying to tell you? Is there a symbol that has great meaning to you? So much that you wish to wear it upon your body as a tattoo or a piece of jewelry. If so, it uh, carries a message for you to decipher. It might be considered a badge of honor. The chant. Through the golden light of the realm, I see my true self in all my perfection. I see the perfection of all others, and I honor their right to be just as they are. We are all perfect, perfect children of the one source, so be it. Cut the labels out of your clothes today. Gorgeous. I love it. I know I say that every day, but <laughs> I always mean it. So we have some super attractors. We got two today, I think. Let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. I love it. And what is this one? I let the universe catch up with my dreams. Beautiful. Beautiful. What is it that your intuition is telling you about these cards today? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your perspective on what these cards are telling you today. Uh, put it in the comment section below. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Other than that, have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video.